Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a yoga teacher. I've been teaching yoga for 18 years and practicing for over 30. Today, let's have a look at the side crow. You really want to get the front crow down first before moving on to harder arm balances. Um, I have a previous video teaching the front crow. So if you're feeling comfortable with that, let's try to twist it a little. Start by coming into a crouch and twist all the way around so that my far arm is pressing against the outside of the knee like this. To start, we'll use both arms. So I will press both elbows against the outside of the leg. And this one eventually gets pulled out. So twist and lean. And you can just start, this is stage one. Try pushing and leaning a little like this. And just lean, lean, lean. And when you feel comfortable, bring your head a little closer to the floor until the feet naturally lift off. Leaning, 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 and just by gravity, my feet have lifted up into the air like this. Right now I'm resting on the backs of both of my arms. But you do want to be able to come off of the back arm. So from this angle, I'll show you. Pressing both in, leaning down, put my hands on the floor for this one, and lean up with the feet, pulling off of my back arm. So I don't know if my hair was in the way there. Try it one more time. Watch what I do with this arm. Coming down and then off of this arm. It's still supporting me, but it's no longer underneath me, okay? Once you're comfortable with that, you can try extending the legs out. So I'll switch sides for that, twisting all the way around, pressing my elbow. So if you only have the flexibility to get to the knee, then you're not gonna be able to do this. You need to be able to twist all the way around, place the arms, lean in, and once you're comfortable, try extending the legs out like this. cat visitor here. <laughs> See the tail? Okay, so once you're comfortable with extended legs, you can then move to scissor legs where you just expand the legs or scissor them open. So start from here, twisting around, plant my elbows, lean down, extend the legs, and then try scissoring them just like this. So at the top leg, moving back on that one, okay? Alternatively, you could extend one out. I'm going to do that next with the Fallen Angel. So Fallen Angel is a progression of side crow. However, in some ways it's easier because you have three things on the ground, two hands plus your head. So exactly where on the head that touches down will be your temple, right beside the eye. We'll plant gently down on the ground while you try to take the leg straight up. Different things you can do with your leg in Fallen Angel. So let's have a look at that one. Twist around. Hi. Mm -hmm. And come into your side crow. And as you bring your head down, come off and lift up with your legs. This takes a lot of core. from this side, twist, place, rock, land your head, and lengthen up, just like that. So it's a little easier having three things on the ground, however, pulling up into the air straight like that takes a lot of core. If your wrists are feeling sore from practicing crow, or other arm balances, this is your magic tool. Very inexpensive. Do this while you're at a red light driving, while you're watching TV. Do sets of maybe 10, 20, and switch. So when we're really strengthening in, in the inner wrist, top of the hand, good one for preventing carpal tunnel. Remember, if you're doing a lot of arm balances, that is repetitive strain. You want to take it easy. 
Anytime it becomes too much, rest, stretch. Good one to do before you practice your arm balances is here, there, pressing your hands together like this on the floor, like that on the floor as well, and like that, okay? Keep your wrists limber and strong. Good luck. Send me a link to the video of yourself doing this pose if you do, if you have one. If you have any questions, then just message me. Namaste.